Dragon Ball Super fans out there, it's your boy Rebel here back again with another video for you guys. Now, I'm going to be doing this for every elimination for Universe 7. We'll be talking about the the person that got eliminated and was it justified, all that stuff. How do you guys feel about that elimination? So today, up next on the chopping board is Master Roshi. Now, Master Roshi, when the tournament power started, a lot of people did not have faith in this dude. But after episode 106... I think he gained a lot more fans, a lot more respect. He even got more respect from um, Beerus. Now, us, personally, some people probably like Master Roshi. I like Master Roshi back in the day. Now, he was just there for me. But in the tournament of power, I gained a lot of respect for him. Even though I did call that he was going to be the third person to get eliminated, I gained a lot more respect for him. But I personally thought that he should have got eliminated in episode 106 where he had the we had thought he died. It would have even been cool for him to actually even die. Because now the way episode 107 went played out, like he went hard. Like the way I see it is that he eliminated himself, which wasn't like cool to me because it's the tournament of power. The more people you have standing, the higher chance you have to win. Now if he died, okay. If he got eliminated by someone else, okay. But he threw himself off the ring. Now, everybody that's throwing themselves off the ring because they don't want to fight an opponent or like in Master Roshi case, he got tired and then probably didn't feel like he wanted to be a burden on anybody else. Don't understand that the more people you have left at the end of the tournament of power, when the ticker stops, the universe with the most people wins. Now, Master Roshi himself knows this as a smart fighter. I feel like he forced everything that just happened in episode 107. He did the Mafuba three times, my guy. Three times. One was good. He he sealed the, the vampire lady or whatever her name is. Knocked her off. Tried to hit um, Frost with the Mafuba. Missed, right? And tried it again. But then when he tried it again, Frost was able to counter it and seal Vegeta instead. Now, that's three whole times. See, he could have stopped at the second one. Could have found through another way or something. Because when Vegeta came, you know Vegeta is way stronger than these two. Frost even said it. He's stronger than Megeta. He's stronger than stronger than uh, Frost. He would have found a way to, got to, to get to Megeta. Easy. So he did not need to actually try to do a third Mafu. But he could have just got out of Vegeta's way. Possibly went to go sit down, catch his breath again. Or even go fight someone else master roshi is a smart fighter a very smart fighter and has a lot of experience there's a lot of things he could have done instead of just sitting there thinking that he everything is just all lost and go to a third mafu but no he literally could have done something else even he could even help vegeta fight just a little bit just get out the way Ugh. i just didn't like the way he went down because i felt like after what we seen, what he did in episode 106, eliminating three fighters, literally three fighters. He el he got he got the girl to eliminate herself, eliminated the the vampire lady, then went then went toe to toe with Ganos and got him eliminated. Now after seeing Master Roshi go to to this MVP status, to now this, I just did not like it at all. To him just throwing himself off the off the tournament power stage just to get a zen, uh, sensu bean. I, I just don't like it. I really felt he could have been somewhere else. Could have got out of people's way. And stay there. We still would have had eight fighters. Like we literally would have had the most fighters in the tournament of power. Because Vegeta would have found a way to eliminate Megeta or even Frost. But let me know what you guys think about Master Roshi's elimination. Do you guys like it? Um, it did actually still prove me right on my elimination order theory. If you guys haven't seen that already, I'm going to keep telling you guys, go check that out. It's in the link. It's in the description down below. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so. We're on a road to 200 subscribers before the tournament power ends. So if you guys want to help out with that, hit that red button. Hit that bell notification. Don't forget to like the video. Leave your comment in the comment section down below. And I'll check you guys later. Peace, YouTube.